Understanding and documenting the weaknesses and vulnerabilities of our own network environment, in cybersecurity, we call this organizational threat intelligence. Quite simply, what we're trying to do is identify the weaknesses so we can fix them before an attacker can take advantage of them. One of the first steps in organizational threat intelligence is vulnerability scanning, and one of the most effective tools you can use is a product called Nessus. In this video, I'm going to show you how to work it. Hello everyone and welcome. Troy here coming at you from my basement IT bunker. Today's video is part of my series on practical cybersecurity and today we're focusing on vulnerability scanning. As I mentioned at the top, one of the goals of these scans is to increase something we call our threat intelligence, our awareness of our own network so we can find and address potential vulnerabilities in our network before somebody else does. We're going to be using a tool here called Nessus to help us perform a vulnerability scan on a fairly typical Active Directory environment. Let's start by assembling our tools. As you can see from the website behind me, at Tenable.com, we have a series of products. One of those products is the Nessus Vulnerability Scanner. I'll state that I'm not employed by nor sponsored by Nessus. I just have used their products in the field and I like them a lot. Now, if by some fluke somebody from Nessus or Tenable happens to be watching, you suddenly want to shower me with a bunch of sponsorship money. Now, I will clarify that this tool is simply a vulnerability scanner. This is not actively protecting my network in any way. This is not going to fix the vulnerabilities for me when we find them. That responsibility is on me, but it does a tremendous job in helping me isolate potential weaknesses in my environment, which is why we're using it. Now, as you can see, there are different versions of Nessus. Uh, the two here on the screen are the Nessus Professional and Nessus Expert. They both have, at the time of this video, seven-day trials that you could implement to get the full functionality. We, however, are going to be using a product called Nessus Essentials, formerly something called Nessus Home. Links in the description below. This will give you the opportunity to get a feel for the functionality in a small environment as it says up to 16 hosts and it does not have the full functionality but it will give you a really good idea of the power of this particular tool. Now in order to get our hands on this product we do need to register for an activation code. It is a simple email process so you could use a temporary email or a throwaway but I have used my legitimate address and I can tell you I've never been spammed by Tenable. You see that it's an opt-in process so unless you check that box you should not be bothered by future emails. Once you've completed the activation process, you're going to receive an email from Tenable that looks a lot like this. You'll see that it contains links to a data sheet with respect to their products, a download link to the installer, as well as a link to the installation guide for this particular version. You will receive a one-time activation code and you will use that to activate the software once it's installed. The download link brings you to this page where you can see there's an installer for virtually every platform you can think of. I'm using a Windows platform today and so I'm going to be finding the X64 MSI installer because I'm going to be running this on a Windows 10 client to serve as my Nessus server and evaluate my environment from there. You'll also want to grab a link to the installation guide, which will give you all the information you need to install on any particular platform, as well as move into the scans that we're going to do once this product is installed. All right, let's get this done. I have downloaded my installer and I'm ready to apply it to my lab network. Let me give you a quick tour. I'm running two virtual machines. The first is a domain controller running Windows Server 2022. This has been deployed with Active Directory Domain Services, DNS, and IIS. I have not done any specific server hardening, nor have I run any Windows updates. I'm countering that with a domain-joined Windows 10 Enterprise PC. This is going to be my Nessus server. I'm going to install Nessus right here, and I'm going to use this as my server point to scan this environment. Let's get this installation rolling by right-clicking on my installer. I'm going to copy it from my desktop and I'm going to paste it onto the desktop of my Windows 10 virtual machine. Now, one important point to note is that I'm logged into this virtual machine using domain administrator credentials. I need that to properly install the software as well to properly do the scans. We need the right privileges. So, I am going to double-click the installer. 
up comes a wizard, nice and easy. Next to my way through, of course, I'm going to read the terms and conditions. I'll click accept and away we go. Now, this installation can take a few minutes. Uh, it's downloading from the internet and it's installing. The time it takes will vary based on the resources of your machine. I'm going to be pausing the video, but I'll time it to ensure you get a full picture of how long this takes. Now, that portion of the installation only took about a minute. I'm going to hit finish and let the wizard complete its final tasks. And there we go. So Nessus is completely installed and without me doing anything, the web page welcoming me to the application was automatically loaded on my screen after the installer was completed. Now I'm going to note that there's a warning. I do not have an SSL certificate supporting this installation. So I'm going to get some browser errors because I'm using the browser to actually access the management dashboard. But I'm going to connect via SSL and this happens to be Edge. I'm going to have to pop through and continue to the uh, connection where the, uh, the, the browser is deeming this unsafe. Great. Now we get to select our Nessus product. The version that I'm using is Nessus Essential and I have the activation code for that. I'm going to select continue and now if it does not, if you do not have an activation code, it does prompt you right now, but I do have one. So I'm going to hit skip and grab a copy of my code and with a simple paste, I shall register and away I go. Now I need to have an administrator account. So this is to access and manage the Nessus dashboard. I'm going to do, I'll set up my username and I'm going to set an administrative password here. Away we go. There we go. And now this is the part where we get to sort of sit tight. It's going to take a bit to prepare all the necessary assets. There's some downloading happening. Again, I'm going to pause the video and I will time this, let you know when it's done. And we're done. This is exactly the screen that I see the moment that my Nessus has finished installing. And you can see I've got a welcome screen urging me to launch something called a host discovery scan to start off identifying all the hosts on my network. Now that particular scan took exactly 48 minutes. So this is definitely a go get a sandwich kind of install. But the good news is that we are now ready to rock. Let's see what kind of treasures Nessus has in store for us. So as I mentioned, we can start off with a host scan. And you can see right here it says these discovery scans do not count toward my 16 host limit on my license, which means I could do an entire network scan. You can see I can do CIDR notation to get my entire network and it should give me a report of every device or host it finds on that network. I'm going to do a quick check to see if I can find my server. That'll kick us off. My server is 192.168.243. Oh, that's a three, Troy. And 185. And let's see. I'm going to hit a quick little scan and give it a second. There we go. We found my first host. That's actually the only host on the network aside from my Nessa server. So as this scan continues, it will eventually time out having found nothing else on that particular network. There we go, discovery complete. I can now target this host for individual scans and further vulnerability assessments. Now, what I'm gonna do here first though, before I do that, is I'm gonna actually go to the Nessus documentation. Remember, in our activation email, we received a link to the most current version of the product documentation. And we saw there's explicit instructions on how to install the product, but as we dig deeper, we'll see there's a whole set of information associated with scans. Starting with these policy templates, Nessus comes with a whole set of preset scan templates that we can use to hopefully detect vulnerabilities in our environments. And as we scroll down, we can see a whole bunch of these. There is one host discovery. We've already done that. And I mentioned the advanced scan and the advanced dynamic scan are two that often you want to take a look at because those are very, very customizable and flexible. The one that I'm looking for specifically is the Active Directory Starter Scan. Now that particular scan will let us check Active Directory for vulnerabilities associated with our installation. Let's do that now. 
So back to my virtual machines we go. What I'm going to do here, let's make, get some real estate here for you. I'm going to click on the great big blue button on the top right side that selects new scan. And here I see a series of all those templates. These are the templates mentioned in the documentation. Spend some time in here. There's some real gold if you want to dig in. There's that advanced scan I was talking about, advanced dynamic scan. And the one I'm looking for is the Active Directory Starter Scan. Let's select that template and you can see the target of this scan is to look for misconfigurations in Active Directory. You'll see I've got some configuration options on the left hand side. Feel free to dig into those and this particular scan does require some credentials. Let's walk through this. I'm going to build the scan by starting to give it a name. This is going to be my ADDS starter scan. There we go. And I could give it a description if I wanted to. I'm going to store it in my scans folder. And now I'm going to target it based on the specific IP of the domain controller, which is 192.168.243.185. I'll verify that. Yes, it is. And you can see that I'm ready to go. What I'm going to do now is select the credentials option. And this particular scan does require some ASDI permissions. This I found in the documentation. And you'll see that I've got to give it the permissions to actually access and evaluate that DC. I'm going to start by typing in the IP address of the domain controller, 168.192.168.243.185. Uh, there it is. The domain is corp.acme.com. And the administrator account that I'm going to use is my domain administrator. There we go. I'll spell that right, Troy, and the domain password. Let's get that right or it's not going to work. I'm going to be extra cautious here because I don't want to uh, miss that authentication and I'm going to click save. There we go. The scan is ready to go. I'm going to hit the launch button on the right hand side and the scan is off to the races. Now, this scan should only take about a minute. It's not a very robust scan, but it's digging into some very specific things associated with my Active Directory. I don't need to wait for the scan to finish. I can actually just dive right in and you can see that it's already finding vulnerabilities. It's only 76% done, but it's digging through and giving me insight into what it feels might be worthy of my attention. You'll see that it's found three vulnerabilities. It's rating them based on a score of critical, high, medium, low, and simply informative. Fortunately, most of these, res these results seem to be coming from the info category, but I do have a medium here I should take a look at. And let me click on the vulnerabilities tab, and you can see there we go. This particular, uh, this particular scan is noting that my Active Directory has a non-expiring account. Okay, so, so according to what Nessus believes is best practice, it's cautioning me that I shouldn't have an administrative account with a password that does not expire. That does correspond with a lot of the security considerations that I take into account when I'm, when I'm setting up my Active Directory. It gives me a solution. It gives me a full explanation of what's going on. It also links to some useful articles as well as the output from the log. So very happy, healthy information here. I actually now can take this. The scan is finished. It looked under a minute, which means that I can now take the information I received from this assessment and create some kind of remediation, remediation plan to fix this particular potential vulnerability. That's it. That's my quick getting started with Nessus guide and hopefully you found some of that interesting. Hopefully you can get some good scans going and assess the vulnerability of your own network environment. See you next time.